Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd do a little video this evening, just a bit of a catch up, and um, show you what I use to seal uh, paintwork at the moment on the babies I'm working on. Um, it's quite it's quite a simple one really, but I thought since I'm mixing it up now, I'll just mix this up and uh, film that at the same time. So um, I keep I, I pre-mix my, my my ceiling layer and I keep it in these little pots, and um, I had about a quarter of a pot left. So what I've got, I've just dumped that out into here just to keep the consistency um of the of the mix is kind of the same you know for, for continuity keep it all even so um the mix i use at the moment i know a couple of other artists use this um and it's not a hard one to mix up but it gives quite good results um i always mix it all up i tend to end up using like straws and like um, lollipop sticks just because they're good smooth surfaces to work with and um, the mix i use i get um a one ounce tub this is like straight from genesis this is a one ounce tub of uh, thinning medium, so I'm getting used to where my camera points. It's like mounted over my desk. Um, this is like just Genesis thinning medium. It's a one ounce tub, um, and I'll just tip the whole of that in. I make up like a big batch of it in one go. It just saves me having to do it all the time. And yes, it looks really, really gross. I won't tell you what I think this looks like because that would not be suitable for children. Um, oh lord, I might as well just say it. So yeah, the whole tub of that goes in, and it's um, pretty gloopy stuff. It kind of has like a thicker element to it, and like a like a watery element to it as well, which is a bit gross. But uh, give that a good stir, get it all ma mashed up with the other layer, and then I, I couldn't get any tubs of the next one I need, so I ordered three um, ten mil samplers instead, um, which works out as uh, another one ounce. And this is the Genesis satin varnish. I don't know if it's focusing on there. Um, which just comes it's like a, it's like a slightly thicker type paste and um, I just sort of scoop all of these out and just dump them in here and it looks really manky at this point but yeah I might as well tell you what I've been up to it's I'm not filmed in ages but um, it's been really busy here uh, Evie's seven and a half now and she's doing great she's so busy with school and stuff and she's loving it um, I um, I've worked a couple of the jobs. I've um, last year I was working two jobs for a while. Now I'm full time, uh, self employed reboarding, which is great fun. I uh, set up um, as a business in July two thousand and fifteen, um, and now I pretty much do it as a full time job. And it's a it's a busy job. It keeps me going, and you know I'm not going to make my millions, but it keeps roof over head, and I'm happy with that. It's good fun as well. I really enjoy it. It's great. But um, I thought I'd start filming again. I got a little GoPro for Christmas, which is what's mounted over my desk. I've not filmed over the desk like this before, so it's a little bit new. Um, yeah, it's just been busy, and I just haven't been filming, and um, haven't really been doing anything worth filming, <laughs> other than painting and painting and painting and painting and painting. But um, yeah, I use Instagram a lot. I'm uh, Cupcake Fairy Joe, all one word, on Instagram. Um, I use that for most of my work at the moment because it's just so quick and easy to share pictures right okay i've dumped all of that gunk into my tub so i'm just gonna get these other ones out of the way um and yeah it's kind of a delightful sort of sludgy slimy mixture at the moment and what i like to do is i just like to add just a tiny little drop of thinners just to loosen it down and when i say a tiny amount i mean a tiny amount of blue and i literally just like dip my toothpick in some of the wetter part of the paint and just like I'm using uh, ultramarine blue, which is a really, really like a uh, intense blue. It's like a deep blue. It's not got any of the white element in it at all. And I just literally, because I don't really want to tint this too bad. I just want to give it a little bit of uh, helps to add the depth. And I literally have like a toothpick tip on there. So I'm gonna pop that in. See how that looks. I think I might need a little bit more. But uh, my my ultramarine is quite old and it's dried out. And I. Uh, quite a bit and I could do it replacing it soon I think yeah I literally have like a toothpick tip of that stuff and like I, I don't know if it makes too much of a difference um, I don't want to make my top coat blue but I, I want to add um, you know keep the depth going on in there and just turning things so that's literally got like you can just about see it's just tinted a little tiny bit of it blue when I've mixed it all in you won't see that at all so just take that to one side and then you mix this gunk up it's lovely. So 2017. Well, 2016 has been a pretty, sh a pretty shockingly bad year. I think like we've there's been a massive celebrity cull.
by the looks of it and it's just been it's been a tricky year here too as well and I lost both my grandparents this year and it's just it's just been a rubbish year 2016 it's just been a rubbish year but like it's the December the 30th now so I only have one day of it left and if we can survive that and get into 2017 that will be good and um unless I'm planning on drowning in ceiling medium right now I should be okay but yeah, it kind, of, it kind of is a little lumpy, so you just kind of want to keep stirring it and stirring it and stirring it. See, it's not so much got any blue coloration to it, but it almost has like a very faint grey to it. And like, I don't want the last coat of my babies to make them look grey. It doesn't. It just adds like um, the same effect as like the really, really super thin blue washes do. I mean, it, it, you probably can't even see that it has any colour to it at all. And that's kind of what I want. Um, but like, it, it just... A little bit more depth, a little bit more depth, you know, that last little bit. But I'm just going to keep stirring this up and just keep mixing it until it's completely smooth. And then um, I have these little glass pots and I just decant it back into these. And then that's my ceiling layer for like 20 babies, like made and stored. And it's going to be consistent and, you know, not change too much. And then when I run out, I just order two more one ounce pots and mix up a whole new bunch. 2017 is going to be a busy one. I'm going to be moving house at some point. Um, i got to have some surgery in the first three months, which is really, really minor, which um, means I'm not taking customs until I know when that is, just to make sure that I'm not getting like bogged down in it. Um, I've uh, I've been filming out with the GoPro. And we've been out to Blackpool. We've taken reborns around to Madame Tussauds with one of my reborning friends. Um, oh, hello, iPad. And... Um, we're going to, I've, I've vlogged that, but I just need to edit it and get it uploaded. And went back again today with Evie. We've been up the tower. I've vlogged a load of that too. I didn't take any babies that time, but I'll upload that as well because um, you guys probably want to see what the kids are up to. And yeah, I'm going to try and film some more. My new resolution is to get back on top of my social media profile and actually update my website and um, yeah, try and focus a bit more on that side because. You know, paintings are going good, and I want to put a video up at some point with them. Um, just for the record, I have said at some point about a million times in this video, and I totally know <laughs> that that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll put a video up with, uh, I'll do like a slideshow of babies that I've been making in the past year or so, and um, so you guys can have a look at them. And uh, yeah, it's kind of nice to be back on YouTube and get that building back up again. So, this is kind of pretty much smoothed out. It's. Um, Kind of like, uh, well, it's almost, it's it's kind of a bit of a strange consistency. It's it's not a liquid. It's not really a solid. It's like a, a lotion texture, almost. I'm trying to show you guys. And it's kind of like a milky grey. But there's very little grey to it, but it, it just has that little tiny hint of having a slightly darker colour to it than white. But it's, yeah, you can kind of see what that looks like. It's a bit gross. But I know some people, they put yellow in their finishing layer and some people use more blue in their finishing layer. It's just, it's a personal preference. I just like it with just that tiny little hint in it. I mean, it's almost invisible. So that's, that's all smooth and mixed up. I, I recommend when you go to use it out of the tub, you give it another little mix because it can settle. But I'm going to tip this into my two little tubs now. I'm not going to film that because that's so boring. And um, hopefully I'll update with some more videos in the very near future. So I hope everybody's well. And with that, good night.